Some good news for your dog tonight. A new treatment is now putting a leash on canine arthritis using stem cells. In fact, 20% of older dogs suffer from that condition. Our nightly reporter David McAnally tells us that science is teaching old vets some new tricks. Good job, buddy. For 14-year-old Zach, his main problem is arthritis. The problem dogged him. The trouble walking, trouble sitting. Despite pills and supplements. Trouble going upstairs. Despite dogged efforts. His, uh, his belly was almost touching the ground because he couldn't hold his hips up. Pain muzzled his pleasure. So his quality of life was really going down because uh, he couldn't make it around the block anymore. Euthanasia can always be an option with older dogs who are in bad shape. But other than his problem with arthritis, Zach was in very good physical condition. Oh my God, he's been with me through everything. Enter Dr. Ben Ealing at Broad Ripple Animal Clinic. Hi, bud. Veterinary science has unleashed new treatment for problems like Zach's. Good boy, still ruling the house. A treatment he's already used successfully on 13 other dogs. So this is what's going to be, uh, what the fat's going to be placed in. With Zach asleep, he surgically removed fat from around his middle. Fill up these two tubes. Then shipped it to Vet Stem okay. Labs in California, where they extracted Zach's own stem cells and returned them to Dr. Ealing within 48 hours, already in syringes ready to inject. This is where they did the hip injection. They did that on both sides. Then an IV injection and a shot in the shoulder. And in two days, the dog who could barely stand. I saw immediate results. Those first results slacked off, but within two weeks. Two weeks after is when I really saw that he was getting improved function in his back. Zach still has arthritis. But he can walk. And he can sit. And he can jump. And he can go upstairs. Deanna, a people doctor, says the quality is back in Zach's life. But how? The stem cells are the body's own natural healing cells. Injected at an injured site. And those cells then recruit the body's own natural healing cells to come to that area, reduce inflammation. They have the potential to regenerate damaged tissues. With none of the controversy over human embryo stem cells. Still getting around well? Stem cell therapy can fetch up to $2,500. Young dogs may need second injections years later, but they're usually less costly because the lab stores the dog's sample. No, it didn't seem sore at all. Over here, babe. Something Deanna and Zach can bark about. At our website, WTHR.com, you'll find some helpful links. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. More rain.